a director of travel firm TUI who was ordered to pay his ex-wife huge maintenance payments for life by a divorce court is now battling to force her back to work. Multi-millionaire accountant William Waggett, 54, was ordered to give his ex-wife Kim Waggett £9 million in cash and assets after they split in 2012. The money allowed her to buy a £2 million home in Cheshire, which was the house where former Wales manager Gary Speed took his own life, and a holiday villa in Mallorca and she also gets £175,000, a year personal maintenance for life. Financial director William Waggett, Wright, is contesting the terms of his £9 million divorce from his ex-wife Kim, left, after she was awarded £9 million in cash and assets in 2012. Mrs. Waggett purchased the house in Cheshire where former Wales football manager Gary Speed took his own life for £2 million following her divorce settlement in 2012. Mr. Waggett lives in this home near St Albans in Hertfordshire with his new partner. But Mr. Waggett says the order, made by a divorce judge in 2014, was unfair and means his wife, who is also an accountant, has no financial incentive to get back to work. A hearing in London's family court was told the couple were married for 21 years and had one daughter. They lived in a very substantial £4.3 million property near Great Mercedes, Buckinghamshire before splitting in 2012. After the split, Mrs. Waggett, 49, former finance controller of UCI Cinemas, used her £9.14 million share of the fruits of the marriage to buy a £2 million home near Chester and a Balearic holiday home. Mr. Waggett meanwhile moved into a £1.9 million farm near St. Albans with another lady, the Court of Appeal was told by Mrs. Waggett's lawyers. Three senior judges at the Court of Appeal are considering whether to end the £175,000 a year maintenance payments his ex-wife receives. She is claiming she deserves more. Nigel Dyer QC, for the husband argued that the maintenance order should be ended in two years' time and that Mrs. Waggett should get back to work and start supporting herself. How long should an order based on sharing last for? When does the meter stop ticking? He asked the judges. It is unfair to expect the husband to continue working long hours in demanding employment and not expect the wife to realize her earning potential as soon as is reasonably practicable, he added. The order gave the wife an unduly soft landing. Moreover it provided no financial incentive or clear timetable for the wife to return to the job market, the barrister went on. Mr. Waggett says the current divorce settlement gives his wife no incentive to go back to work. The longer the wife leaves it the harder it will become. She has a working life ahead of her at least 12 years. Given time, retraining and application, the wife could revive her career and obtain a well-paid job using her accountancy skills. The wife has significant capital resources, which must make the case for a clean break even more compelling, if not irrefutable, said Mr. Dyer. Mrs. Waggett however claims she did not get enough from the financial package and wants her yearly payments increased by £23,000. Her lawyer James Turner QC argued that she is entitled to an ongoing share of her husband's earnings, as she helped him build his career by supporting him and the family on the home front.